Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day, and welcome to Follow Me Friday. Kind of something I was thinking of, maybe something I'll keep doing, maybe not. I keep trying new stuff just to see what y'all think. I just finished what was maybe one of my most fun live shows that I've done yet. They keep getting better each week. Check the links above. I'm putting a link to the live show there, but I'm also putting a link to the live playlist because those things are fun. We just talk. You watch the chat and I try to, I try to moderate the chat in a way that you watch it later in rerun. I think you still have fun, have a few tokes with me. Hey, anyways, I'm on my way to the river. It's, I'm pretty high from the live show. I relaxed for about 45 minutes. The wind's blowing. And we have a Chinook coming. We have some beautiful warmer weather coming. And the geese are moving around so you can tell the weather's getting better. Because, oh, sorry, I got somebody behind me. And we got geese coming over right. Anyways, I didn't know somebody was behind me. So friends, we're going down to the river. I made a joint of huckleberry soda purple mixed with granddaddy purple. So we're having a purple toke at the river. Bitter batter, let's get at it. And if you go back to that little short there, you'll see that's where the Chinook arch ends. That's what I was showing you is the arch of where the warm air is coming from the west. This mo just to show you what I mean, this morning when I woke, that was, it was minus 12, felt like, I think it says minus 16 there. It's now, plus two or plus three. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's going to, it was only supposed to be one. And I bet you we'll get six or seven because the Chinook has hit. Some of these come as surprises, but very seldom to the old hippie because I had the migraine. I knew something was coming. Anyways, see you at the river. Friends. Here we are back at Goose Airport. Flight's taking off every 20 seconds. There should be another batch going soon. <laughs> yeah, I was right. <laughs> to be honest, I came down here and there were thousands like last time. But in the time of lighting my joint, purple tokes, by the time I lightened this joint, it uh, most of them took off. Too bad, but I got lots to show you. The river is narrowing. So the river moves faster when it's like this because the sides fill up with ice and so the flow of the river is stronger and if you look you can see the ice flow every bit of that ice gets collected up at the edges some of it stays in the middle but most of it's going to get collected at the edges and this edge that was at my feet just a few days ago is now three feet out there. And 
pretty soon I'll be able to walk on the edges if I'm if I'm brave. And look at this guy. Look at this sky. People always think I'm saying look at this guy. Yeah. No, I'm not I don't I don't bend that way, but it's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Anyways. Again, you can see the Chinook. It starts right there, and that's southwest. And there's the west. And then it ducks down in the northwest. Isn't it cool? So that's where Chinook is. That's what I'm enjoying with y'all. And I'm enjoying the ice and I'm enjoying the day. But there will be more, so I'll be back with y'all either if I find something interesting to share on this walk or we'll see you back at home and later in the evening and again tomorrow morning so that you get another 24 hour this time a follow me friday peace Hope you enjoyed that little montage and here we are back at home not much to share with you today I'm just making pork chops and I'm just having a night at home so next you'll see me probably tomorrow morning unless something unusual happens but let's throw things on the floor so let's have a dab together and Thank you for coming along with me. That was really, really nice. That, that, that eagle, that's, I saw that eagle there a couple of days ago. I saw it there again today. And what I missed was just as it flew into that tree and sat there, as I came closer, it tried to take off from that branch and that whole branch came tumbling down onto the ice. Ah, sometimes I'm pretty happy with myself with the shots that I do get, and I am happy with those on the geese and the and the eagle. But boy, oh boy, that shot that I missed. Anyways, cheers, friends. I hope I don't bore you with my trips to the river, but it is a spot I was telling my dad between there being beaver and muskrat and, and osprey and eagle and Canada goose and many different kinds of ducks all this close to downtown. I consider myself lucky because it's nature that keeps me going. Speaking of nature, I'm going to go have a bath. I have no idea... What Speaking of nature, I have no idea what that means. Friends, talk to you tomorrow. Or maybe later tonight. Only you know.
Good evening, friends. It is about 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's past 9 o'clock at night. I'm going to have a little chunk of hash with y'all. Here, let's get that focused. I'm going to have a little chunk of hash with y'all, just uh, heating up the end and getting her in the pipe and saying good evening. I wasn't even going to do the video, and then I thought, no, th this is a good way to end it. And then I'll come back in the morning. I'll let you know how the day was, how the night went. And there's 24 hours following the hippie. Follow me Friday. I think that's what I'm going to be calling it. Friends, my pipe, cheers. Yeah, look at the squinty eyes. Uh, it's been a good night. Cheers, my friends. We are watching I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. It's a fun show that I've watched for close to 20 years. And I have some CBD tea. Very, very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Cheers one more time. <laughs> now, I'm back with you. That was a little strong on the throat. I'm a little high. I'm going to get back to giggling and laughing and watching a show. And I will be back in the morning to have the final talk with y'all and say good morning and thank you for following the hippie. Peace. And once again, we've gone full circle, my friends. Good morning. It is Saturday morning for me. A couple hours after I woke up, I've had a hard morning. I rolled the wrong way, or I did the wrong thing, or I coughed too hard last night. I have a condition that that is a fibromyalgic condition that comes up oh, a couple of times a year. It's called costochondritis, and it looks like this. It feels... And I've had that tested before, so at least I know now. The first time I had it, I thought I was having a heart attack. But I breathe fine. If I breathe deep, it hurts. If I move the wrong way, it hurts. And there is nothing one can do but rest and take it easy. Well, I can take it easy. Resting. Not going outside may be more difficult. So I don't know, friends, if there's going to be a video tomorrow. But I hope there will be. Uh, even if I just update y'all on how I'm feeling. So we started with talks. The whole thing's been about me medicating for the last day. So we're going to end with talks. I am going to have the last of my Huckleberry CBD rosin and hopefully get some of this pain in my chest now. Cheers. That does help. Right away, that helps. Right away. Because I know it'll help. And I'm going to take extra CBD today. I do know that Advil can help with costochondritis. And I may. I've been trying to stay away from Advil. I have only had two this week. And I've had migraine almost the whole week. So I've been doing well. I'd like to stay away from it. So if I can. I had big plans to do about five or six loads of laundry. Get myself caught up. Do my Christmas shopping online, of course. That kind of stuff. But no. Today's going to be a quiet day. And I can redo that. My plans tomorrow, the next day. Health first. 
Friends, thanks for coming on this Follow Me Friday. And I might continue to do Follow Me Friday for a long time to come because Fridays are unusual days. I usually spend the morning getting high with you and then I spend the day enjoying that feeling. So friends, peace and cheers, love and harmony. Maybe see you tomorrow.